All right, guys. Today we're going to do a little bit of vintage. Um, I played in the first uh, vintage Swiss I've ever tried to play in today. Um, I was playing a Notion Thief deck. I haven't played it a whole lot. Um, I played it a decent amount, but I hadn't played it a whole lot recently. I had no idea what I wanted to do with a couple of my sideboard slots. Um, so I wasn't quite sure uh, what I wanted to do with like about two of them. I feel pretty confident, and I think the first... Uh, 13 of the slots. I'm not really sure if I just throw more shops cards in or what in the last slots. I guess I'll show you the deck here and tell you what I mean. Um, I really like my main deck currently. Um, as you can see right here. It's really these two sideboard fluster storms uh, that I, I, I'm literally not using against like anything um, when I've been playing. But the, the main deck is so absolutely solid. Um, it's been pretty, pretty good. I guess I, I pulled them in, I think, against... Uh, Against Storm, I think I've even been pulling like the a Jace and stuff like that. But um, I'll show you how I did in my uh, Vintage Swiss Daily today. Uh, I won the first three matches, um, going 2-0 every time, and then I got absolutely crushed in uh, the match for uh, for the 4-0 game. Um, so that definitely is vintage for you. Uh, so I'm gonna. Just let you guys watch these games, and I'll kind of chime in um, if there's something that I think is incredibly relevant. So you can watch me play this uh, event. Kind of nice here, the only card he can take is the Black Lotus. So he's already turned off Blind Calling with his Revoker there. Here I'm going to use a little trick. I'm going to activate top, sack in between, and fetch, because I want to pick the Mana Drain off the top of my deck. But I want to be able to craft um, after I uh, get rid of my top and fetch away. So I put the uh, ability on the stack first. Mana drain that, otherwise we're dealing with another thought, side, thought not here and we lose the mana drain anyway. Oh no, is it going to be game bug? Hope it's not every game where thirst for knowledge is. Cast. I don't think those are even the cards I drew. I'm pretty sure I played a Jace, um, bounced his Thought Not Seer, and this game was actually epic. This was one of the better games. Uh, it came down to one life, and I pulled off a crazy line of play with uh, Yogg Moss Will, um, as well as getting uh, infinite turns off of Vault Key, but I only had one life left and still had my Mana Crypt on the board, won the flip, and then was able to... Uh, and that was after using Time Walk twice. Um, and he did something interesting where he like animated his workshop and swung at the wrong thing. It was really interesting. Um, so those are not the cards I drew at all. That is unfortunate. So first game bugs. We're ready for MTGO. Maybe that's this game. I can't remember how the and if that is, I can't remember how the first game went then, which is unfortunate. Uh, no rod, which would turn off my mock sapphire, so mana drain. Not only that, mana drain gives me Jace, and there's something to be said about using a brainstorm there instead of bouncing his uh, mimic since he gets to play it for free. Um, but it doesn't can't swing at the Jace anymore. Unfortunately, he gets this uncounterable, hasty reality smasher and uh, kills my Jace anyway. 
So we draw the Time Twister, which uh, most people don't run in this kind of build, but I love Time Twister with Notion Thief. And uh, we're going to use that line right here. Twister, Notion Thief. We're not going to cast the Underground Seed just in case we get a disgusting Tolarian Academy. We're going to bounce this Reality Smasher, even though we can't counter stuffs. Yeah, now here's the where it's. I think this might be the game that has the crazy finisher. I think in the first game it might have just been a simple Blight Steel Colossus plus a Time Walk or something like that. I think this is the one where I uh, get real low. So I go ahead and get Time Walk here because if he gets another turn, I'm just boned. We'll Dak Faden, get rid of this uh, cards that are control cards because we need to combo off to win. So this is where I feel most comfortable when I'm comboing. We draw into the Blight Steel, which is an excellent. Blow the dig through time. Find a Demonic Tutor and a Treasure Cruise. The only thing we're going to leave in the graveyard off this Treasure Cruise is going to be the Time Walk. We find the Time Vault. We can play it. We Vault Key. Now we just have to not lose to Mana Crypt's Flip. And this game is bugged too. Interesting. I won that flip. <laughs> and then I was able to uh, use the Ogmas Will to Ponder and the Jace the Mind Sculptor. Well, pretty much you Jace the uh, Blightsteel back down and then you Ogmas Will the Demonic Tutor uh, to go get Tinker and then get rid of the Mana Crypt with the Tinker and put the Blightsteel in the play. But yet again, that game bugged because um, I won both those games. Um, kind of interesting there. Yet again, MTGO's replays are kind of horrible. Round two was against a Gush deck, and I get a turn one time walk, which will allow me to pass and do turn one Notion Thief against him. And as fate would have it, he sets up for a turn one library play. Only maybe 40% chance he has force. If he uh, doesn't have force, he's totally boned. So I get to draw the extra card there, no force. This step is therapy. Fluster storm is time walk. Part of the reason we misstepped uh, the therapy was just because I didn't want him to see my hand. I didn't want to give him any information. Mystical tutor. Time twister. Brainstorm first, just to see if I get some sort of protection for it. He, in fact, has an answer for it, even though he didn't find a protection. We've now got the Dak Faden plus Notion Thief combo naturally drawn. Well, off the Brainstorm. He Demonic Tutors. I play a Treasure Cruise. I leave it the Treasure Cruise because the Dak Faden's the better card. I will eventually... Oh, yeah, swing first. To see if he got a removal spell as a tutor. Got a Treasure Cruise first because the Dak Faden's stronger. Didn't get protection for this Dak Faden play. But since he doesn't counter the Treasure Cruise, and I think he probably went for a win card, as opposed to something to deal with a Notion Thief, I don't know exactly what uh, I think he got there, but um, I haven't seen white out of him yet, so might not have been a source of plowshares. He might have just got a um, Yog Moth Will, and that way he could play another land, and he would get a Time Walk, and presumably if he had any other extra mana source in his hand, he would have been able to recast his Demonic Tutor. And then go get an answer for the Notion Thief with a little more cards. So, there is that game. Game two. We mull our first hand away. We get a hand that's going to have mana drain up on the first turn. And his first turn play isn't scary, so we don't have to use our Force of Will. Black Lotus. That is a scary card going to have to ditch one of the mana drains. But now we can keep mana drain up on our first turn, and potentially it'll get us into this Jace. And if he doesn't play anything in a mana drain, we've got Brainstorm behind it. So pretty excellent for as far as the three cards I could draw go. He red blasts the Brainstorm on his end step. 
No problem. We're just going to pass on the mana drain again. He has no land drops. I have a feeling he really needed that Black Lotus to get his hand going. Um, we're not going to play the Soul Ring here because then our mana drain is down. And I don't know if he's just waiting for uh, that. And I have no uh, way of stopping it. Now we get a land. We can play the Soul Ring. Not going to get greedy and play the Jace. Just going to keep passing on this mana drain. Get a Time Vault. We can play the Time Vault and still pass on the Mana Drain. And he has not got his board developed at all. It's looking pretty bad for him at this point. This card's a Sudden Shock. Something that would be very good at killing my Notion Thief after Game 1. Might have probably brought that in from his sideboard, I would guess. Go for Ancestor Recall. I am not going to allow that to resolve. Go for a Mana Drain. He has no follow-up, so I know he doesn't have a Force of Will, or he definitely would have uh, tried to reach for lands there. So I'm going to be able to dig through time, for sure, because we fetched. Now i get to use the uh, extra one mana from the Mana Drain to resolve Jace. He goes for Force of Will. But now he's only on three cards. He has no development. Um, he's going to need some really good cards to pull out of this. He doesn't have the mana to cast Yawgmoth's Will. His Black Lotus is already down. Um... And we're just going to look to the top of our deck for victory. Find a Thirst for Knowledge. Hopefully it doesn't bug again. It doesn't. Try to play Ponder. He missteps it. But we've still got card advantage out of that Thirst for Knowledge plus one. He now has two lands and two cards in hand. And we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards on board. He's finally able to get down to Junk Pyromancer. Notion Thief. We're going to play it right away. Not give him any opening to... Uh, Counterspelled if he's playing his own type of mana drain or something. Has a Pyroblast. Gone. Plays a Cabal Therapy just to get tokens. So, that is that. Dak Fade. Um, I'm going to use him just kind of as a fog. I could have waited or even used the Time Vault's ability to skip a turn. That might have been the best play there. But I th I'm thinking just Fog and uh, try to get a good hit card is what I was thinking when I was playing. I don't think that was the right play, uh, even after right after doing it, I don't think so. But luckily, Sensei's Divining Tot finds Voltaic Key, and there's a Demonic Tutor underneath. But he doesn't even have an answer for the key. So that is that game. Game 3, or match 3, however, rather. Ugh. No outs. So we keep a hand here. It's got Force. It's got a Turn 1 Demonic Tutor. It's got a Pitch Card and Mystical Tutor. So I can immediately go get my Vault Key combo and uh, have infinite turns on my second turn with Force Backup. And if I draw, uh, I mean, rather, if I draw a land, that is. Um, so if I draw a land, I'll be able to uh, not only have that, but also have the uh, ability to have Manager open. I see a Bazaar. He does not pop it. We draw Mana Crypt, so that will give us a turn two kill with the Vol uh, Voltaic Key. He dredges, and apparently he does not find what he needs because he scoops it up right here. Um, and we still had the Force to stop uh, if he had some kind of crazy way of winning on his next turn anyway, but he does not. I do have quite a few cards for dredge, and uh, I, the plan is typically mull into Ley Line. Uh, you you want to have some form of graveyard hate. It just so happens that my opening hand has two ley lines of the void. Not only that, but it's got plenty of lands, a preordained cast on turn one, and half of my time vault combo. So, excellent start. Therapies. I'm afraid it's going to be for force, so obviously going to force it. Pass on my mana drain. He has to 
find two ways to kill Leyland and the Void to go off, and as bizarre as killing his cards every turn. Sarah Time Vault and the Vampire Tutor is the other half of our combo, and we've got Force back up. So he is in a world of hurt here. Play the Vamp Tutor. He's got a mental misstep. Go ahead and force it. He still has to get through two ley lines. He'll take key. No answer. Good game. And now the final match of the Swiss, where I did not do as good. I'm almost positive this guy's on some sort of blue deck just because of the average length of his games in the, uh, uh, the Swiss event. He played almost longer than anyone else in every single round. So I'm thinking he's on some form of blue. So this hand, it's got... Um, I'm on the uh, play. I won the die roll. I can't get my mana drain for my first turn. I don't have a force of will. Uh, the Treasure Cruise is nowhere close to getting online. Um, the Mystical Tutor, I mean, the best I could hope for out of that was an attempt to Mystical Tutor for an Ancestral Recall or something. But if he's playing a blue deck, there's a good chance he's got Mental Misstep. Um, this hand is just not going to do unless I get lucky, and I don't get a draw going first. So there'd be nothing I could really do. Uh, this hand, I've got plenty of lands with it, but I have no artifacts to go with at Tolarian Academy. Um... Time Twister probably not that great in any kind of like blue mirror, unless I've got something good to go with it. No fast mana. I can't keep this either. So I'm going to go to five. Yet again, no fast mana. Nothing super exciting. Um, no control at all in this hand, but I really don't want to go to four. Force of Will probably should have went to the bottom. I put it on top. Um, that was probably a mistake. I thought it was a mistake right after I did it. Um, I guess it was, I, I kind of didn't know what he was going to do, and I wanted to be able to stop him from doing something degenerate. Um, but I'm not going to get to see it until, uh, until next turn anyway, since I'm on the play. So now I've got this force, but now I, yet again, I've spent two turns of vintage doing, uh, jack shit, which is no good. Um, he passes. I get a mana drain, which is, uh, not bad at all. I'm going to go for a Thirst for Knowledge on the end step, which is pretty good. He Pyroblasts it. Kicking the nuts. So no card advantage. Um, no way to get back up into this game uh, so far. He just happily trades one for one. We draw a second force, which now definitely makes me think I didn't want that first force. At least I can pitch force to force if I want to keep the drain. Um, I decide that I want to play the Dak Faden because my hand is just no good. And I can force to protect the deck fading if I need to. Snapcaster Mage for a Pyroblast. I have to force that. If I can get the deck fading down, I think I've got a chance. He forces back. Now he's got a threat on board. He's up one card in the hand due to me mulling down two, twice and being on the play. He's going to be up a third card when he draws since we've done nothing but trade uh, one for one so far. So I am three cards behind at this point. Force of Will, the, th the third Force of Will is not doing me any favors um, in this matchup. I get a Mox Ruby. I decide to hold it since there's no real reason to play it. I don't really make him on playing uh, Chalice for Zero or anything like that. We get a Library, but at this point we're never going to get to use it. Um, I mean, I guess I could get up to Library. So I guess it didn't even really make... I don't even know why I played the Mox Ruby there, but... Uh, this this threat has to be drained or I'm going to lose even faster. He's drawn Ponder. He plays his own Dak Faden, which I have to stop. Uh, with all my mana drain mana, need my hit card now. Possibly didn't have Force. If I get a good top deck, I could win. Land. Um, I'm feeling very not so good about this. I need a super big hit card. I need my Time Twister or something to get out from under this. The Mana Crypt makes that line better. Tolarian Academy... Uh, Mana Crypt, Time Twister, potentially hit more mocks and maybe we'll do something disgusting. Soul Ring. Yet again, still looking for Twister or Yogwill or something big. At this point, he probably has the ability to counter me now, though my window is probably closed. Notion Thief will not do it. He has two threats down. Good game. And the last game... I take the play again, which I don't know how good that is in this matchup. I have Library on the play, so it feels like I'm at six cards. For some reason I thought I mulled and I was on the draw, but that's not the case. 
Um, so what I should have done is probably just tried to ride out this library. But in my infinite wisdom <laughs> and infinite uh, experience here playing Vintage, uh, not only that, but the Mystical Tutor is probably one of the cards that I should have switched out for Pyroblast. So I have two Pyroblasts in my sideboard for this matchup. And I brought in one for, I think, the Flusterstorm or something like that. And then... Yeah. Play the... Uh, Sensei's Top. But he knows how good that library is. And he tells my Sensei's Top to go screw itself. Now I force that recall there. And yet again, uh, that ends up being a horrible decision. Uh, this, this game I almost just straight up deserve to lose. Because what do I have now? I have Yogwill a mile away. He could have four cards that are way better than me, and I pretty much shut my library off for the whole game. So this game was the worst game I played the entire time. Uh, I played this game any way other than how I played it. Um, I might have been able to win if I just sat there and tried to ride that library out um, for a little bit. But the way I played it was absolutely god-awful. I should have just let him push through the, that uh, recall, etc., but he's got Jace, and I've got nothing but lands in the Yogwell in a library that does nothing. And the Yogwell doesn't even do anything for me, because all I've got in my uh, graveyard is a Force of Will on the top. And he's got the nuts. He's got Black Lotus, he's got Flashback on Recall, he's got Mentor, and he's got Treasure Cruise. I am just beyond fucked. And, yeah... Now it's just pass and watch a zillion mentor triggers as I get my shit stopped. So, not the uh, biggest vintage pro as of yet, but I definitely had fun playing in my first Swiss event. Um, I was kind of happy to go 3-1. Um, I'm not too upset to lose to this guy uh, and not go 4-0 my first time playing in a Swiss event. Um, for vintage at least. Um, though... If you play a deck like this or have any uh, suggestions on cards that I can use over these fluster storms, I, I don't really like them that much. I like my five graveyard hate spells. I like the arcane labs for storm. I like the ink chewers, the mountain, and the Hercules recall for uh, uh, what's it called? Just the workshoppy decks, um, sphere decks, stuff like that. I feel like because uh, I'm trying to remember what I did. I wanted to bring in toxic deluge against him. Because it's good against his mentor and his, uh, and his even, I mean, it's even not bad against Snapcasters, you saw a threat's a threat, but it's pretty much I wanted to bring against the mentor, and I think what I did was I brought in Pyroblast, Pyroblast, and took out Flusterstorm, and I can't remember what the other card I took out was. I think I just brought in one Pyroblast, because I, I didn't really think about how I'm supposed to sideboard for this deck when I even made my sideboard. I haven't played against uh, that many Mentor decks for whatever reason for the past couple days. But I definitely need this other Pyroblast in here somewhere. And I think I even want this Toxic Delusion here, but I'm not sure what I should have cut. Um, it's possible it could even be the Forces, but it's possible I could be horribly wrong about that. So if you play lots of Vintage, I'd love to hear your opinion. Um, but other than that, um, I, I think th I, I thought after seeing his deck game one, the Mental Misstep is probably better than the Fluster Storm. Um, but these could definitely be something else. And I don't know what would be really good in the Gush matchup uh, to play. Um, I feel like when I beat the other Gush deck, pretty much it was just me de dependent on me uh, drawing these broken mana and power nine cards to beat them and going over their head. Which is kind of what that guy said when I talked to him afterwards. Um, so I'm not quite sure. I, other than, I, I don't really like those two Fluster Storms. But other than that, I liked uh, 73 out of my 75 cards pretty damn well. Um, I liked my main deck. Actually, this wasn't my main deck. My main deck was this. I had one Fluster Storm main instead of the Pyroblast. And I don't even know that, that I like that, um, to be quite honest. But the Fluster Storm just hasn't been as, uh, as, as good as uh, I thought it was the more and more I played this deck. But other than that, I really like the deck. Um, it's a lot of fun. I usually win with it when I'm playing with it, at least in the uh, the practice room, the tournament practice room, and I had fun playing in this event. Um, I have a couple other decks I like to play, though I think this is definitely my favorite deck. Um, so tell me what you guys think, and if you liked uh, getting to see Vintage Swiss events. Uh, maybe next time I'll do it live, though the events are really, really long. 
Um, as far as playing four rounds, it could go up to 50 minutes each. Um, that could be up to like a four-hour video, which would take God knows how long to upload. Though I'm sorry for at least the one game that bugged out. I can't remember exactly what my line was winning, but I'm almost positive it was Blightsteel Colossus in one way or the other. Um, so yeah, this deck's lots of fun. You get to play Mana Drains. You get to play Notion Thieves. What could be more fun than that, right? Uh, Moxnix. Sign it out!